In this video, you'll see how to enable data analysts to deploy big data resources using AWS Service Catalog. By making products available through the Service Catalog, you can manage access to on-demand resources, provision those resources to users with specialized roles, and employ templates to configure specific products. To demonstrate how AWS Service Catalog can be used to make products available for specialized roles, let's start in the role of a data analyst who is interested in using Amazon Web Services to run a big data workload using Amazon EMR. The analyst has been provided access to the AWS Management Console through a specialized data analyst role with the appropriate permissions to access AWS Service Catalog. AWS Service Catalog allows organizations to create and manage catalogs of IT services that are approved for use on AWS and helps you meet your governance and compliance requirements. This products list can be configured by an organization to make only certain products available to certain roles. As you can see, this organization has already configured an EMR cluster product that you can use to provision the necessary resources. You can simply choose to launch the product and then proceed through the wizard. Type in a name for the product. Next, specify some basic parameters about the EMR cluster. This AWS Service Catalog product has been configured to allow data analysts to customize the cluster with the big data applications they want to run. Amazon EMR supports products such as Apache Spark, Apache Hive, Presto, Hue, and Ganglia to give analytical teams the engines and elasticity to run petabyte-scale analysis for a fraction of the cost of traditional on-premise clusters. For this example, we'll just accept the default applications and proceed. You can also specify additional parameters, such as the key name to use when connecting to the cluster through Secure Shell, or SSH. In addition, you can customize the core instance type, number of core instances, and master instance type to meet the needs of your big data workload. In this case, let's just use the default settings. You can also provide additional tags for this product to assist in auditing and management. Administrators can configure this screen to make certain tags required. Let's proceed through the rest of the wizard. Here you can review the parameters and then launch the product. The status under change indicates that the product is in the process of provisioning. Let's switch over to Amazon EMR now. Amazon EMR is the industry-leading cloud-native big data platform, allowing teams to process vast amounts of data quickly and cost-effectively at scale. Let's refresh this view. As you can see, the cluster has been deployed and is now ready to use. Let's take a closer look. This screen shows you a summary of the cluster configuration. Notice that the applications we selected during product deployment are shown here. The application history screen makes it easier for you to troubleshoot and analyze active jobs and job history. The monitoring screen provides additional performance details for the cluster and individual nodes. The hardware screen shows you the configuration of the master and core instances and gives you the option to resize the number of core instances if desired. As you can see, AWS Service Catalog makes it possible for data analysts to get started quickly without having to worry about the technical details of configuring an EMR environment in AWS. Now let's take a quick look at how AWS Service Catalog was configured by the cloud engineering team. This is the administrator view of AWS Service Catalog, including all the products that have been defined in the organization. Here are the portfolios that contain these products. Let's take a quick look at the EMR portfolio. Notice that this portfolio contains just one product, the one for the EMR cluster. This portfolio has been made available to the data analyst user. You can add additional users, groups, or roles to grant access to. Let's drill down into the EMR cluster product. Here you can see the artifact template that defines the product. Let's drill down further. This template contains all the JSON code defined by the cloud engineering team to create this product. When your organization is ready to start creating its own products for AWS Service Catalog, a great place to start is the AWS Labs GitHub repository. 
Let's take a quick look at it now. This repository contains many useful code templates for different AWS services. Here is a folder for code samples related to the catalog. This folder contains sample templates for defining a product. The folder also contains sample templates for defining a portfolio. Organizations can use these templates to define resources and then deploy them using CloudFormation stacks. You've just seen how to enable data analysts to deploy big data resources using AWS Service Catalog. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.